Hello, Internet. Hi, and uh, welcome to this second walkthrough in the series of iLife 11 walkthroughs yesterday. Hope you guys enjoyed the iMovie 11 walkthrough. Obviously, iMovie is going to be the one I know the most about because that's what I use on a regular basis. I use it about five times a week on average to edit my videos, so that's what I'm going to know most about. Uh, I also know a lot about iPhoto, because that's what I use for the graphics in my videos. I don't know a lot about GarageBand. I use it sometimes for my intros and other times I need music. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be tomorrow. And then I have a bunch of little tutorials for you, short videos. And then uh, back to schedule with some reviews and, uh, you know, random stuff up until about the 14th of December. That's exciting, isn't it? Um, so let's get started. Open up iLife right down here. These are some graphics I've used in my past videos. Uh, these are all these graphics. So let me get started with the walkthrough. Okay. Right here at the top with the library. These are all the pictures you've saved. These are going to be all the events you've had. Every time you've dropped a certain amount of pictures, it automatically comes into here and basically creates a little mini album for you uh, right there. And then that's going to be all categorized in order of when you dropped it in then go to photos and it'll break it down basically the same way but it'll it'll be a different view and at what point it breaks it up into date then you just break that up and now you have all these pictures in different dates you can have more than one picture in these events, but then faces, which are basically detecting. These are the faces, which is a really cool new feature that they've added this year. Um, these are it automatically detects a face. Uh, this, as you could see, that is amazing. That that action figure was such high quality that it even de detected a face in it, which is really good. This Miley Cyrus picture and this Taylor Swift picture all detected faces. And places, which I think is the same on the iPhone 4 and the new 4th generation iPod Touch, where in the photos, you can now put places. Um, select an event, click the info button. So I'm going to do that right here. Info, and then, you know, select a place. It's, that's all you have to do. And you're automatically there. And then you can go to the last import, which, again, does this in order of all the pictures you've imported. Uh, last 12 months. You know, it, it's basically all the same theme. They all give you different ways to view your new uh, photos. Your photos in uh, any way you want to view them. This is the flagged button. Uh, that'll go into its own folder. And the trash folder, which I have a lot of. And then, in the photo book... Let me go to event. And I'm going to take all these pictures right here. All these pictures right here. And I am going to... Uh, oh, again, before I continue. Full screen uh, is a new feature they've added this year. Uh, search and the zoom button. Which makes it a lot easier to view your pictures. And this is probably one of the biggest, or even if not the biggest advancement, the slideshow. So many more customizable features that have been introduced in this slideshow. Uh, you just play so many new features that have been, uh, you know, added to the slideshow with music and, you know, all these new things you could do. All that, okay. And then, as I just showed you before, select info, which uh, expands it. The faces, seven unnamed faces, which it has detected. Then the places, all that stuff. Then want to close that and edit, which is a great new thing they've added. I'm just gonna rotate. I'm just gonna use all these features quick. Rotate, enhance, which makes it if you can't tell a little crisper. I remember an example would be when I had a disposable camera and I forgot to put the flash on. Enhance really, you know, fixed that problem because it was really dark and Enhance really fixed that. Uh, red eye. I don't really have a red eye thing, so no red eye, so I just fix that right there. Just example. Straighten. And then just 
twist that by degree, set it back to normal, done, crop. Uh, right here you can crop. I love the new, the new grid is uh, really amazing because it really, you know, breaks it down for you. And these are all different sizes, you can customize. Do that, retouch. Uh, that's basically blemishes. And you just retouch that. Let me actually get another picture. That's a bad example. So. A close up photo. Wait for this to load. Here we go. Okay. Let me just crop that. Done, and that's automatically cropped. Now I can just make this little thing re really small and basically just retouch. Just fix that up. The only reason it's not working so well here is because of the lighting and there's a lot of glare. Okay, effects. Um, just gonna go through these really quick. The darken, the contrast, warmer, cooler, black and white, sepia, antique. Matt Mate Vig Vig Vignay, I think. Fade Boost None just regular picture and the adjust. Which is basic a lot like iMovies adjust. Um uh fix the exposure levels, you know, if there's bad lighting. You just switch that around a little bit. And uh you can play with that a little more. Uh, and then I want to go back to events. Because so I'm revert to original photos. And then I could do edit. Oh, just did that. Okay, and then I could do create. These are all the new things you could do. You could create an album, a book, a card, a calendar, a slideshow. The book, I think, is the best one. And there will be a t tutorial in the next week on how to do a book, a card, a calendar, and all those new things, all those new features. So I don't really want to go into it that much. Um, and then there's another button, Add To, which is basically create, add to a book, an album, a slideshow, or a card, or a calendar. Then, once you're done, you could share, which makes this so convenient. Um, uh, these are all new features. The order prints, you can order them straight from Apple. Mobile Me Gallery, Flickr, Facebook, and email, which are great new features. Um, automatically connect to a Facebook, automatically email it to someone. I'm just going to press that button quick. Then, just like that. Just, and you're done. You can even, there's a even a bunch of new templates you could select within this. Uh, edit that. Hi, and just the date, November 25th, 2010, and you're done. And you can easily just type in a name, anything, and just send it away, and it's done. So hope you guys enjoyed this little thing. Walk, I move, I photo 11 walkthrough, and tomorrow I will see you for GarageBand 11 walkthrough. And in the upcoming weeks or months, there will be a lot of garage band iPhoto and iMovie tutorials and little uh, videos I'll be throwing out there on how to do things, basically. I do want to do a big iMovie tutorial, like a six six or seven part thing that will take up about a week of videos. Uh, I'm hoping to do that sometime next month in January-ish, but I'm not sure yet. I haven't really decided. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow.